In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite plays from the bunch tight end in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And one of the ways we do that is through sharing with you uh, what we're learning as we're learning it. So literally, as we have new route combinations as we have new setups we like to share those with you uh, right here on the YouTube channel so if you have not already subscribed I would highly encourage you to subscribe I upload eight to ten videos every single day on YouTube that are designed to just kind of basically break down different strategies tips strategies and um, route combinations and defenses and things like that so again it's completely free to subscribe and I actually have a full ebook out on the bunch tight end. Um, today's video is going to serve kind of as a sample um, to that. This is one of the plays that is in the ebook, but there's also several other plays in the ebook as well. Um, and if you want to get the full offensive system and ebook, that link is in the description. It's literally just $15, and it helps support the channel a ton. So I just want to ask you if you have not uh, picked up that ebook yet, I would highly, highly encourage you to do that. And again, that link is available for you in the description. Now the play that we're going to be talking about today is the play tight end corner. Now this can only be found in a couple of playbooks. One of the playbooks that can be found in is the New York Jets and the other playbook that it can be found in that I personally recommend when you're running run heavy is the um, the run heavy playbook. Okay so Tight end corner is a really, really unique play, and there's actually a lot that you can do with this play. Um, but one of my favorite things to use this play for is you can really use it against anything, um, but it, it works best, in my opinion, um, against when you notice that your opponent is starting to kind of overcompensate to try to stop the triangle receiver. So they're cross manning or they're um, doing a lot of zone drops or different things like that. So um, I just want to show you first and foremost, like let's say that the, the, the three wide receiver side, um, there's two or three ways that we're going to run this play. The first one um, is something that is really, really good when the, when your opponent is running a lot of Tampa two. And the reason it's so good uh, when your opponent is running Tampa two is because zone drops don't stop this um, this route. So all we're going to do is we're just going to streak the tight end. Um, what I like to do is I like to take the running back and put him on a little in route. Um, you can, if you want to, put the running back on an option route. You can put him on anything you really want. But I like the in route. Um, I think that's the most effective. And then we're just going to motion about as scantling here to the left. So we have a basic flood concept to the left. Most of the time their user is going to go to the left. Um, and what you'll see here is this route right here is an absolute laser against really any zone drop in the game. Uh, and that's what I like about it so much. So even if it's like cover four, let me just show you. So this is cover four. Cover four probably does the best against this play. Um, one of the things that you can also do is you can take your running back and you can put him on um, like, a, like a little wheel route if you wanted to. That can help sometimes as well. Um, but I love the, just the simpleness, simplicity of the in route. And you'll see here, so this is cover four. And again, you can kind of hit this on the sideline just like that, almost like a version, um, a version of the crossing route. Now, another way that I like to run this is and specifically to the left hash mark because the bunch tight end is one of those offenses that you're going to want to always run this with the quarterback's hand side he's going to roll out. So we're always pretty much going to run it this direction. We're not going to flip it a lot. If we do flip it, it's actually kind of rare, and it can definitely catch your opponent off guard. But um, another way that you can run this, and, and really a really nice little combination, is basically to take your, to take your tight end, and you're going to put your tight end on a delay cross or a delay fade, either one. And then you're going to take your running back, and again, you can do anything you want with the running back. Um, I like to put him on either an option route or an in route on this next setup. You can also block and release him if you want. Because this route comes with a stock block and release, you want to use the stock um, block and release. You don't have to hot route him to it. And then what you can basically do with Devontae Adams is anything that you want. If you want to isolate that corner route, it's actually really effective doing that. Um, and that's normally what I'll do. And I'm going to snap that as scantling right about here. And you'll notice that if they're in cover four, this low ball, and of course Rodgers just butchered that throw, um, the, 
the the crossing route becomes so much more open in a situation like that when you use this motion right here to Devonte Adams. Now what you're going to see is this this crosser is going to basically be wide open. As long as I snap him right about there, right about the numbers, even if it's to the wide side of the field, again, he goes, he goes, he goes, he goes, and the streak runs off the zone. And as you can see, it's an absolute laser. It'll get over any zone drop in the entire game. The other nice thing about this is let's say that you're doing that on that side. A lot of people like to run uh, cover three on the opposite side. So they're going to run cover three to the left side um, just because cover four can have some issues um, against this against this other side. So again, if you just watch Devontae Adams, now he's going to basically be soloed up in terms of how the defense is going to play him. He's actually going to have a lot of space to be able to work in that corner route. It's kind of a check down or safety valve as well. All the while, you're maintaining um, an eight-man protection if they do decide to blitz. Um, but you have really, really good routes, in my opinion, um, that are going to basically be able to get open against anything. This is cover four. I just want you to watch here. Um, you see that the corner route is kind of deeper than you would actually think it is. It actually is a very deep corner route. So if they run those 25 yard um those 25 yard purple zones like a lot of people like to run, that will that will take care of the the, the corner route to Devonte Adams as far as how it because you don't have anything to pull the zones or anything, but that just forces them to have to play that on both sides of the field. Like you'll see right here, um I can actually pass lead that down into the outside. That was against a Tampa 2 with a Mabel of the purple and a hard flat so you know my point is in just saying you have a lot of flexibility with how this is going to work this corner out to Devontae Adams is super underrated especially to the short side of the field I find that that corner out to the short side of the field is really really effective you'll see um, there's often a lot of times opportunities for you to basically be able to just use the gunslinger to fit the ball in the other thing that I like, and I haven't really hit on this yet, but a lot of people like to shade their coverage inside and underneath against man coverage. And what you're going to notice here is the man coverage is not going to do a great job against this play um, because Devontae Adams is going to get a mismatch on that left side normally with that man coverage. When you motion the left side receiver of the bunch to the right, it mismatches the man coverage, and it typically will give him a really, really good opportunity to be able to have a consistent um have just have a consistent ability to win uh, against the man coverage. The other thing is they have to play with a safety over the top on that right. If they don't, you have a one play touchdown. If they are playing with a safety right, most of the time Tavon Austin will get open on that crossing route. He doesn't always get open, but most of the time he will. Obviously, if you're in mutt and you have really good route running, that will play a factor um, in how this play works. And again, the last thing that I, and I haven't touched on this a lot, but man coverage will occasionally glitch out the running back. Also, if you release the tight end on that drag, he does beat man coverage on that little cut. Doesn't matter really who's guarding him. It's going to be a consistent read for you. So you now have about, you know, a really, really good little play here in tight end corner. There's so much you can do with it. One of the things that I don't um, recall talking a ton about is essentially using this almost like a, um, almost like a little motion glitchy snap here. So if I motion Austin and just snap him kind of behind, you're going to see that it's going to give the zones will basically just ignore him. And you can throw that all the way to the outside quarter uh, of the of the defense. So that's another thing that you could do. Um, you know, you could basically streak the tight end, wheel the running back, and then essentially just motion him out to the left just a little bit. And if you'll watch here, the zones are going to get pulled out of the way. And then you can basically just just get him the ball. Now that was another terrible throw from Rodgers, but you see the idea here. So tight end corner can you can do a lot with this play. Um, another thing that I haven't really hit on uh, from tight end corner is if you left the corner route to the tight end. Now, I don't normally do this because you don't want the routes to run to the same spot. But this is a good example of like something you can do out of inside switch. So if I put the tight end on a corner route and I put Tavon Austin on a fade and do that same little strategy of motioning him to the outside uh, zone, you're going to see he's going to pull all the zones away, and now this corner route is wide open. So that's another little wrinkle that you can mix in with this offense. But anyways, if you want to get the full offensive ebook, that link is in the description. I also have a free sample of the ebook that I can get you. Um, it's 100% for free, and all you got to do to pick it up is just text me. My number is 812 
216-316-3644. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and we will see you tonight on our live stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time.